sponsored by Bet365. Well, that's right. It's Tuck's Tips time of the week. This week, Tuck, the final week of Super Rugby. Can you believe it? Mate, it's taken a long way to get here, but we're, we're finally here last week, and then we're on the semi-finals, finals. So, yeah, looking forward to this week. Obviously, uh, not much to play for for the Australian teams. Things have been decided, but uh, obviously, Wallaby selection is still a big thing. Absolutely, Tuck. That's what all the players will be playing for this weekend and moving into the finals as well. Let's check out the first game now with the Highlanders taking it. That's right, Mardos. The Reds tra travel to Dunedin to play the Highlanders. Obviously on a high for last week with that last minute win against the, the Brumbies. Um, some good performances last week from Tuttle, uh, Cooper that goal at the end and the, and the young bloke uh, Magna who hasn't played a lot of footy because he's been injured. Uh, big lump of a lad. I uh, was impressed with him. But this week obviously up against a really good Highlanders side. They need to perform. I think a lot of these guys, Wallaby selection uh, will be very important to them. Uh, Cooper will still want to be part of that team and I think Hunt will definitely be there of course. We roll straight out of that game, Tuck. Over to Melbourne with the Rebels hosting the Haguaras down there. Haguaras were very impressive against the Waratahs last week. The, the Jaguars were fantastic. You know, 25-3 up and they had a great win. They'll be stoked with that and they want to continue this tour and finish on a good note. You know, these guys roll pretty much a similar team into the, the, the rugby championship as, as the Pumas. They'll be very keen to get some momentum. You know, got some great players. Maroney was fantastic last week and obviously their captain, Creevy, massive fan of him. Really good hooker. Uh, obviously the Rebels, big game for them. What could be their last game, who knows? Um, but you know, it's a, it's a big performance. It's Wallaby selection for a lot of their guys. Up for grabs. Looking forward to seeing Mitch Inman play his last game uh, for the Rebels. Hopefully not in Australia. He might come back one day, but he's been a, you know, a good servant in Australian rugby and, and it'd be good to send him out on a, on a, on a high note. Um, and Cora Beatty last week was outstanding, scoring two early tries. Um, he'll want to put himself high in expectations for Wallaby selection too. Taking a look at the Saturday games now, Tuck, and it's the Chiefs hosting the Brumbies over there in New Zealand. Stephen Larkham clearly with one eye on the finals. Yeah, definitely there, Marty. He's made uh, 12 changes, um, which is uh, obviously resting people for the, for, the, for, the, for the semi-finals. Hope it doesn't backfire. Uh, we did a similar thing uh, at the Waratahs in, uh, in 2002 when it came back to bite us. We got beaten by a kid, scored by the Crusaders, so it's not good to lose momentum if you get beaten by a lot. Um, but look, you know, Let's, let's hope they have a, you know, keep, keep everyone, obviously no injuries, obviously resting so many players, be positive. Great to see Thomas Cabelli back in the starting lineup. Uh, look for a good performance from him, but, uh, you know, with this many changes, he might be doing a lot of back now. And checking out the last Aussie Conference game of the round, it is the Force hosting the Waratahs over there in Perth, Tuck. Plenty of emotion in this one. It'll be a massive game for the Force, which could be their last game in Super Rugby. Um, Hodjo's last game, he, uh, he retires after this week. Um, yeah, there'll be a lot of emotion, and the Force have got a good side coming off that good win last week for the Rebels. They'll be really up for this game, and the, and the locals, the, the, the Force fans, there's one thing you can't say about the Force fans, is, is they haven't been loyal. They've been very loyal to this side. You know, they get always have a, have a, have a good turnout to their games, regardless of how they're going this season. They've got a very loyal fan base. It'd be great to send their fan base off with a win. A really good game last week against, for the Force in that win. Uh, Grant and Ruru were outstanding. Look for them to do the same this week. Uh, the Force have got a real good chance to, to beat the Waratahs. All the Waratahs have got to play for as well as his selection. Um, and, and maybe their coach, Dale Gibson, you know, they really want to put a good performance for him because I don't think you can blame him for the efforts this year. The players have got to take responsibility. So you, know, you, you don't want to go to the end of the season with, with, with two losses under your belt. All right, Tuck, the last round of the season, mate. Let's go for nine from nine. Hope so. Be one of the toughest, Marty, with nine games this weekend. Uh, Reds to lose to the Highlanders. Jaguars to beat the Rebels. Cheetahs to beat the Kings, Blues to smash the Sunwolves, Chiefs to beat the Brumbies, the Crusaders with the luxury of resting a few players in Wellington, Hurricanes to win, Force to beat the Waratahs, Stormers to beat the Bulls, and Lions to beat the Sharks. Well, Tuck, I reckon you might be on the money there, mate. Obviously, that Western Force Waratahs game is going to be huge. I'm not sure that one could go either way. Could go either way, but yeah, I'd love to get a perfect round last week, but you know, it's been, it's been a good season. Uh, not so good for the Australian teams, but you know, there's some good rugby. These Kiwi sides are looking red hot coming into the finals, and I think there'll be some quality finals football. Of course, the finals are next week, but first of all, we have the, the Australian Conference games for you live on rugby.com.au radio. All the highlights, news, and reactions throughout the weekend. Stay tuned onto the website, and if you are going to have a bet at all this weekend, do so responsibly.